All right, so I'm really bored and tired at the moment and I don't want to go to sleep. So I'm going to invite Jordan round, hopefully he comes, and I'm going to tell him that I have something really important that I need to talk to him about. Let's see how this goes. Couldn't have gone better. All right, so he's on his way. Pretty damn nervous, but it's a bit too late now. <laughs> Scared because the phone's about me. Is it about me now? No. Oh, I've had something. Now, can't give me a date, don't give me a date, I don't know how to tell you to be honest. Do you know how. Do you know how me and broke up? Yeah. But we still, like, saw each other for ages afterwards. Yeah. Well, like, well, do you know how, like, we were not friends basically now? Yeah. Um. Oh god, I haven't told you this, but I lost my virginity yeah. about three months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was to her, obviously, because yeah. I've had no other sexual partners. I haven't told you that. No. Feels special, no. You are, you're the only person I've told. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, like, about two weeks ago. Yeah. Do you know, like, when you're angry with someone, but it's like a tension? Yeah. Like, you, you have, like, tension with them. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously we were angry at each other, and she, she, for some reason, she just said come round. Yeah. Like, she rang me and said come round. I was like, this makes no sense, <laughs> because we argued, this, like, ten minutes before. Yeah. And she was like, come round, so, I, so I, I rode round. Pretty sure I asked you if you were coming out this day, but you said you were right, you know, this. I'm deep shit. No. Absolute deep shit. You know. Because, obviously I went round. Yeah. Sex happened. Uh-huh. And uh, um, and she rang me. Look, I'll show you. I didn't believe her at first. There, look. Twenty-two fifty-seven last night. I didn't believe her. I just went straight to bed. Yeah. Cause she rang me. I think she was like a little bit drunk. Mhm. Mm but like, what she was saying couldn't have been like a lie. I saw her coming up from work today. Yeah. She was uh. She was on the way to the gym and I saw her and it was fucking awkward, really awkward. I, I wasn't going to speak, yeah. but she spoke to me. So two weeks ago we had sex, didn't we? And apparently, I'm trying to get it out of my head, but apparently she's pregnant. No. I'm being deadly serious. Like what the... And I've been crying, to be honest, because I'm not ready for a baby. Neither she, but I'm 100% against abortion. Like, I couldn't, obviously, I can't control what she does, but if she's really pregnant, like she says she is, I don't think she'd bullshit about this. She's not that type of person, is she? Like, literally, we, we, I was wearing a condom. Yeah. So, but then, like, Oh, I don't want to go into the fucking gallery details. <laughs> but then... But then, I don't... This is a secret as well. You better not tell anyone. Oh. This is a secret, but when I have sex... Yeah. I don't like to orgasm with a condom on. Mm. And obviously you know what happened. Like, there's a pull-out technique, isn't there? Yeah. And I do that. But two weeks ago I was a little bit late. Mm. Like, oh, fucking obviously a little bit too late. I didn't think anything would come of it though. No. Like we were both like laughing about it, saying, "Watch me get pregnant. Watch this happen. Watch me get pregnant. But we never were like serious about it. We never actually thought <laughs> it'd come to this. I've been at work today, and nothing. Like even finding out that I've been kept on at work didn't even. Oh, yeah, didn't get it out of my mind. I can't stop thinking about it. I don't want to be a dad. Not now. I've got too many expenses. Uh -huh. I can't look after a kid. What would you do? Sorry. She literally, when she rang me last yeah. night at 11, she literally ended it with, you're going to be a dad. And then hung up. And that, that, that just infers to me that she's against abortion as well. Mm. 
It's not even a funny situation. I, I can't even joke about it. Yeah. Like this is the most nervous and frustrated I've been in a, a hell of a long time. And sad as well. I can't bring a baby up. It was two weeks ago, so obviously I don't know how pregnancy works to be honest, mm. like do you become pregnant the same day? Mm -hmm. I don't know how it works. Did she just rang me last night so she must have took it yesterday. Mm. She said her period was late and that's, that's a, like, she, well, she said this, she said this, like, a couple of days ago, but mm. I thought she was joking. I thought it was a joke, like how we were joking when it happened. Yeah. I thought she was joking. But she isn't. But she, I didn't want to go to work this morning. I got up, cried, got a shower, and just soldiered on through the day. I couldn't stop. It, do you know when something just repeats itself in your brain? Yeah. Like her voice, although it was, like, you know, it's stumbly and drunk. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be a dad. Is all I can think about. Is all that's been repeating in my head. I don't wanna be a dad, Jordan. Not that old. No, 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 no. I haven't told anyone. But I have, I have, I have, I, have, I need to tell someone. Yeah. And I waited until my mum went out today because she came back from Paul, just gone back out. So that's why I said, wait on a sec. Yeah. So I don't want to tell her. She'll go absolutely fucking ballistic. Just like her mum will, if she finds out. Yeah. It's going to fuck me up. And as selfish as it is, it's going to fuck me up. If she gives birth to a baby and it's mine, yeah. it's going to fuck my life up. You don't have a baby at 17. I never thought it had happened to me. You, d you don't think it's going to happen to you, do you? Mm. I just wish she never asked me around. I just wish, when we fucking broke up, that we never saw each other ever again. And then none of this would have happened. I don't even know what I expect you to say, I just need to tell someone. Yeah. So I said, You don't have to say anything. <sighs> Fucking baby. <laughs> A child. <laughs> I can't kill it. It's alive now. It's alive right now. It's growing. No, 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 no. What do I do? I can't afford it. This is the worst possible thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Should have told me this, Jeff. Seriously. Father at the age of seventeen. What kind of luck do I have? Throughout the relationship, she was telling me that that she's from a she's from a family that the mums like are hard to conceive. They're like basically it takes ages for them to get pregnant. Like they'll have unprotected sex. So obviously I wasn't bothered when it happened. I thought, what the, what the fuck are the chances of this? When I saw her on the way home from work today, she showed me a picture no. of the, you know, the swab no. thing, the pregnancy test, the stick, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It could be. But 
you didn't expect this. No. Seriously. I don't want it to affect you. Don't let it affect you. I know best friends and stuff, but don't let it affect you. I just wanted to tell you. Fucking baby. <laughs> still can't believe it. I'm still in denial. The whole day today I was like, I'm not fucking dead. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just not. This is all just a big fucking nightmare. I'm just gonna wake up. I haven't woke up yet. What would you do? What would you do? Obviously you can't offer advice because it's you know, stupid enough to let it happen to you. Can I have a hug? Yeah. It's me, yeah. That's all I'm asked. What's the point of living anymore? Don't say that, Jack. Don't what is the point? That. Don't say that. I was doing fucking shit before this happened. Don't dare say that. What's the point in, in it anymore? I can't bring a kid into the world, that's not fair. It's not fair on the kid. It's not fair on me. You never think it's gonna happen to you, do you? I'm so sorry. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be your dad. <laughs> Seventeen. I still live with my mum. She still lives with her parents. What the And I don't speak to her. We're not in a relationship. We're not together. How is this gonna work? How is it gonna work? <laughs> she doesn't wanna speak to me. She doesn't. No? No, no. No? She didn't beforehand? My dad's gonna probably chop my balls off. If it gets aborted, that's a lose. If it if she gives birth to it, that's a lose. Tell me what would you do in this situation? Would you keep it? Would you ask her to keep it? I wasn't even going to tell you. She was. <laughs> she kept it a secret. Are you angry with me? No. Oh no. It's too much there. I don't like exactly what to say. And that's, that was the camera right there, look at that. Don't, don't do it, don't. There's a camera there. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really got someone pregnant. <laughs> I, I think that's recording. I hope it's recording. It was a, it was a very good video idea from a very good friend. I feel like you're going to swing for me. <laughs> but it's going to want to tell how emotional. Can't believe it, got you. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Go on, eh? Mm. Go on, eh? It was recorded. <laughs> okay, now, get out. What? Get, get out, out of my own house. Get out of my fucking own house, Jack. This is not funny at all. <laughs> get away from me. Did you cry? Were you crying? Yes, I was. Because I thought I was saying this. I swear to God. <laughs> don't ever do that again to me. <laughs> You're a fucking ass. <laughs> do you know that? Did you know the cover was that? <laughs> no, I never. I swear to God, you dare do that to me. Again. That's the best thing no, I've done in my entire life. No, oh my fucking God. 21 minutes. <laughs> yeah, you haven't just done that to me.
Wir haben Tschüss und Nazareth.